Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Acid V and I want to show you a cool technique to get our sequences to start small and then get bigger and bigger over time, <laughs> which is, I guess, what we all want in life. So anyway, this session here, again, is going to be drums and bass. This sounds something kind of like this. And then we have a long piano roll note here so we don't have to hold down our keyboards with Acid here. So that's the default preset. So let's go ahead and do the default once again, just to make sure we're on a fresh default preset here. So what we can do is go under the advanced tab and under the scale where it says acid trap style, let's go ahead and select that or keep that selector. We're going to be using that in conjunction with the generate down over here. So even if we click and scroll and move this a little bit here, it's going to generate a very random sequence here. We have some slides, some accents, some vibrato, some random notes. So let's see what the uh, generative has given us, has, gi has given us, given us, has given us. <laughs> So it's going to play with some of these generations and see what we come up with. Okay, so that's pretty cool right there. Now, I do want to point your attention to this knob here called density. Now, if we bring this back here, it slowly kind of removes what we have in the sequence, but we can always bring it back by going to the right here. Now, this is a very cool knob to automate, and I'll show you why this is. So if we go ahead and move this in FL Studio, we don't have to go to the last tweak. If you don't know this, we can always just right-click this knob here and go to Create Automation Clip, and then we have our clip right here in our playlist. So for example, let's kind of start low, something kind of like this here, and then slowly start increasing this density over time and kind of see how this works here. So that's the kind of basic function here. So we don't necessarily have to do a linear curve like this. For example, if we drag this over here, let's duplicate this to 16 bars, and then let's open this bad boy up and then go all the way over here to 16. So we have the full length there. What we can do is extend this all the way here. And for example, let's say these first four bars here, let's put a point right here, shift, shift, <laughs> shift right click to put the point there to keep the value. And we can right click this and then we can go to hold over here, right? So we can have a certain value here. So if we play this as a loop here. So let's say we like this minimalistic type of sequence. That's really cool. And then maybe for this one over here, let's right click and go to hold as well. So maybe for this next four bars, we can go a little bit higher, maybe something like this, which would sound like this. We selected this range right here. And then maybe for the next section of four bars over here, so nine through 12 right over here, nine through 13 technically starting at 13, you know what I'm saying. For these next four bars, let's say we hold shift or right click here, and we're not gonna go to 100 yet, we'll save that for this last one here, so we can go ahead and add a point over there like that. And let's drag this down, maybe something like this, so it progressively gets a little bit more sequence or notes and stuff every four bars to kind of keep our sequence interesting, but still keep it the same sequence. So that would sound like this. And then for the next one, it's going to go something like this at full power. Okay, so hopefully you understand this concept here. So let's kind of put some effects in this, some distortion, and kind of see how this whole thing works as a progression here. So let's loop this section here and kind of listen to it and, uh, yeah, make some cool sound effects with this. I kind of already know that I kind of maybe want something like tube. <laughs> That's a pretty good place to start here. Maybe with the cutoff, we can do a little bit of modulation with that over here. So let's go to our modulation. Maybe make this a little bit faster. One over four. Let's see how that would sound. Kind of gives a little bit of motion as well. So maybe do that with the envelope mod too. Actually, you know what? Let's double click this to remove this. Let's use uh, modulation two for this here. And let's just do some weird kind of shapes here just to kind of get something random and kind of moving here, but kind of keep these on the grid a little bit to kind of 
make it a little bit more in time. It's kind of right click and move that, put this here, get this over here, something kind of like that, right? So hopefully we're all on the grid. So it kind of makes sense. Okay, so I don't think I, no, I did miss one right over here. Let's move this guy over there. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna get this on function two. I think the decay is okay where it is now. Okay, so now we're pretty okay as far as modulation goes for now. Now for the effects, like I always say, I do like that tape delay or the tape echo, especially on this type of sound. So let's kind of fade this in slowly till we get a nice little uh, echo here. <laughs> Spread it, you know what I'm saying? We can do a little bit of fine adjustment here, which is kind of cool. What, may, what might actually be kind of cool now that I think about it. So for reverb, what we can do is I'll do I'll use some external reverb, but we're going to use this almost as an effect here. So we're going to save this for the next lot. For this one, we're going to go with a little bit of chorus, kind of bring this down because it kind of gives it a nice stereo vibe. Just a little bit goes a long way here. So now for the reverb, I should say this reverb for the end here. Let's turn this off for now. Maybe get a little bit of a multiband compression and kind of just carve out our tone a little bit. It's almost very aggressive in your face sounding. Okay, so now for the reverb, this is actually kind of a cool thing I like doing. So let's turn this on and for the dry wet, let's turn this all the way down. Now for modulation three, what we can do is make a note here and go down like this. So it's gonna be off for most of the most of the sequence and then it's gonna kind of pop up and then kind of fade out, something like that. So on the modulation three, let's drag this to our dry and wet and kind of give it a decent amount, something kind of like that. And let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Maybe put this to one. So it kind of opens up halfway through the sequence. Or maybe it might be cool to have it over here so we can drag this over here to the first section. Remove that little node there. Something like this. And then with that setting here, we can go back to our effects, maybe add a little bit more of that dry wet, make the size a little bit bigger, maybe more of the decay, and then maybe reduce the dampening so we get a little bit more of those high frequencies in there and full stereo width for sure. And depending on how you like that fade out, if it's too fast here, maybe we can kind of go a little more subtle like that. And it's a little bit much, so maybe we can dial it back just a little bit here. So we're kind of doing a little bit of a reverb throw in those certain sections there. Okay, so with that being said, now let's route it to our external reverb to kind of tie everything in. Okay, so now we have a pretty basic patch going on here. We have some modulation going on the cutoff, the envelope mod, and then some of the effects down over here with a decent distortion setting uh, dialed in over here. And with that being said, let's kind of check out this progression to see how the notes kind of start adding more and more on top of each other. So let's stop this, go back to the beginning, and let's check it out here. For this one, I would maybe add a little bit more, something like that, because this first spot here is actually pretty cool. Maybe actually even we can lower this down a little bit more so it's a little bit less here.
And what we can do just so, so this kind of snaps back a little bit more, we can always remove this at, as far as being uh, 16 bars. We can remove this down here over here to four and then kind of just add each one of them together. So it restarts every single time. So we know exactly when our automation is happening here. Maybe add a little bit more, something like that. Maybe a little less. This is the fine tune that you're gonna have to kind of go in and kind of see what you feel and see what you feel is right. That could be almost a section where everything comes in. You have kind of a riser going through that. You drop the drums, drop the bass, and then drop everything, and it kind of just goes all crazy. And definitely, like I always say before in the other acid videos, is these cutoff resonance envelope mod decay are generally knobs you kind of always want to be moving slowly over time to keep the sequence fresh. <laughs> But yeah, so that's the basic idea. Definitely automate this density knob because you get a lot of cool effects and you can kind of almost tailor in how you want this thing to progress. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.